a Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release for July 12, 2013. Stem cell clues uncovered. Proper tissue function and regeneration is supported by stem cells, which reside in so-called niches. New work from Carnegie's Jian Jing and Haowong Chen identifies an important component for regulating stem cell niches, with impacts on tissue building and function. The results could have implications for disease research. It is published by Cell Stem Cell. Lamins are proteins and are the major structural component of the material that lines the inside of a cell's nucleus. Lamins have diverse functions, including suppressing gene expression. It has been difficult to understand how mutations in lamins cause diseases in specific tissues and organs, such as skeletal muscle, heart muscle, and fat. The group of human diseases caused by mutations in lamins are called laminopathies, which include premature aging. Zheng and her team, which included John Chen of Johns Hopkins University, decided to examine whether laymans would link stem cell niche function to healthy tissue building and maintenance. To understand the tissue-specific effects of layman mutations, the team focused on fruit fly testes, one of the best-studied stem cell niche systems. In the fruit fly testes, biochemical cross-signaling between the different types of cells that make up the niche environment ensures proper maintenance and differentiation of the testis system's stem cells. Using an advanced array of techniques available in fruit fly studies, the team demonstrated that laymans were a necessary component of supporting niche organization, which in turn regulates proper proliferation and differentiation of germline stem cells in fruit fly testes. These results could have implications for the role of laymans and other types of stem cell niches. These findings could contribute to the study of diseases caused by layman-based tissue degeneration. For example, different layman mutations could disrupt the organization of different niches in the body, which then leads to degeneration in tissues. The Carnegie Institution has had over 110 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.